Hello everybody. I'm Ahmad Hashemi with my fellow presenter Mohammad Reza Zarei, both from the Department of Computer Science and Engineering of Shiraz University. In this presentation, we describe our participation in the author profiling task at Kelef 2020. We propose a combinational model to utilize various types of features for the purpose of fake news spreader identification. With the rise of social media in the past decade, people have increasingly tended to seek out news from social media services rather than traditional news organizations. The easiness of publishing content in social media has led to an increase in the amount of misinformation that is published and shared. This propagation of fake news is causing several negative consequences in different aspects. For example, researchers have shown the influence of the fake news propagation on politics such as elections outcomes and economy like the stock price. Also, as the most recent example, the misinformation that was propagated related to the COVID-19 pandemic has caused various challenges and dangers to the public. In this task, the goal is to determine whether fake news spreaders have a set of different characteristics compared to the others, and if possible, use these characteristics to identify the fake news spreaders. This task can be used as a first step towards fake news detection and preventing fake news from being propagated among social media. The provided dataset supports two languages, English and Spanish. For each language, it contains 300 users and for each user, their last 100 tweets have been provided. Also, an unseen test data containing 200 users for each language is used for evaluation. Our provided model for this task consists of three different components, each designed to utilize a set of features. In components A and B, we use text representations as features, particularly TFIDF and word embeddings. And for the component C, we combine statistical and implicit features. Each component of the model processes its related features with a distinct classifier. Then the results of the classifiers are aggregated with an ensemble method. All groups of features will be explained in next slides. For both English and Spanish datasets, we calculate these statistics for each user. The fraction of retweets, average number of mentions, URLs and hashtags, and also average tweet length. Implicit features are a group of user profile features that are not directly available. And here we infer them from the textual content of users' historical tweets. We focus on those implicit features that are commonly utilized to better describe user profiles. As you can see, age, gender, and personality dimensions are the implicit features we extract for the English dataset. Also, emotional signals are extracted for both English and Spanish datasets. For extracting all these implicit features, we use different state-of-the-art lexicon-based approaches. For the rest of the presentation, my fellow Mohammad Raza will continue. Thank you. As mentioned before, we utilize various types of features. The next one I want to explain is the use of word embeddings. To prepare the text for extracting these types of features, we emit retweet tags, hashtags, URLs, and user tags, and use tweet tokenizer module of an etiquette package for tokenizing the text of the tweets. For both English and Spanish languages, we use medium-sized pre-trained models of SPACI package of Python which are trained on various sources of English and Spanish textual contents. At the end, each user is represented as the weighted average of word embeddings for all the words available in the user's tweets. The frequency of each word is used as the weight factor in the weighted average. Term frequency inverse document frequency, which is known as TFIDF, is the next text representation we use. As well as applying the pre-processing steps used for word embedding features, 
we also eliminate punctuations, numbers, and stop words. We use Porter Stemmer for English language and Snowball Stemmer for Spanish language to stem the words. Finally, the tweets of each user are concatenated to construct an individual document, and then the TFIDF features vector is used as the features of the user. To ensemble the models, we use soft classifiers to obtain prediction confidence of each model instead of using just the predicted label. Then the overall confidence for an arbitrary user U is calculated with this equation. C1, C2, and C3 are respectively the confidence of TFIDF features classifier, word embedding features classifier, and implicit plus statistical features classifier. The contribution of the classifiers is controlled with the weight parameters alpha, beta, and gamma. Finally, the label of the user is set to 1, considering as a fake news spreader if the confidence output is greater than 0.5. Otherwise, the label is set to 0. We selected the classifier with the best performance among logistic regression, random forest, and support vector machine with linear curve. Each model is evaluated with the average accuracy of tenfold cross-validation on the trained data. For all types of features except TFIDF and the Spanish dataset, random forest achieved the best score. SVM with linear kernel obtained the best result on TFIDF features of the Spanish language. So, for TFIDF features of a Spanish language, we used SVM and for the other groups of features, we used random forest. The best values for weight parameters alpha, beta, and gamma used in overall confidence estimation on each language are determined using a greedy search on the train set. As you can see, different values show the variable importance of each component that should be tuned respect to each dataset. In this slide, we compare the performance of the ensembled model with each individual component. On both languages, the ensembled model performed better based on the tenfold cross-validation average accuracy on the trained data. Finally, this is our performance on the official test set in comparison with our local evaluation on the trained set. We obtained an average accuracy of 74% with a 69.5% on English language and 78.5% on a Spanish language. As the future works, we can extract more implicit features and analyze their discrimination. We can also propose a learning scheme for the ensemble unit instead of using greedy search. Finally, we can utilize the fake news spreader identification results for detecting fake news and preventing them from propagating among social media. Thank you very much for your attention. Don't hesitate to contact us by these emails for any possible question.